Hello, and welcome to the, uh, a, uh, Java tutorial on, um, Swing GUI programs. Um, GUI is quite difficult to, uh, learn, but hopefully this, uh, tutorial will help greatly. Um, yeah, so this is Swing. Uh, this is a type of, um, GUI programming that you can do. There are, there are others. Um, but I find that this one is the easiest, so let's get to it. So let's start with the necessary import, so Java, import java.awt. Well, I mean, some of these you don't necessarily need to know, uh, but these, these are pretty necessary. Okay. Dot, uh, dot event, dot, uh, import java dot swing so this little asterisk right here uh, means that you're grabbing everything in other words I don't really need this but whatever um, this just says import everything in this section um, so just instead of importing specific classes you import all of them so java dot io there we go all right, so I called this um, swing GUI program. Wow, that's, that's gigantic. So this is, you know, the basic starting for a Java program right here. But this is something different. So uh, everything's gonna be located within a frame. So I'm gonna create a new J frame. Uh, that's this is what the frame is called. So a frame is just where all the panels, all the buttons, all the tech stuff is going to be. So this is quite necessary to have. So I'm going to call it window equals new j frame. And this is going to be called my GUI program. Oop, there we go. So this is going to be, when you like compile it, it's going to be um, the thing that's up above here. Although this doesn't show in fraps, but it's going to just going to be the title of the program. So I'm going to do a f uh, f text, I'm going to do a text area as well, because text areas are really nice to have. So um, they're going to be final so that they can be referenced within a um, button, just in case you want to be clicked. So final J text area. I'm going to call it stuff. Close. New J text area. Yeah. And uh, this, I'm going to in these things in here, uh, I can specify the dimensions, and I'm gonna do uh, five by five by uh, twenty, because you know that's a pretty good. Set. That's pretty good. Set. Oh, forgot to. Uh, uh, and I'm gonna add a uh, scroll pane uh, to it as well, and set it to stuff so that just in case it gets too large, that you'll be able to scroll and such. J scroll. Uh, I'm just gonna call it scroll pane. Whatever. J scroll pane. And I'm gonna set it to stuff. And I'm not gonna set it editable, so that means that people are not gonna t uh, click inside the text editor thing and then start typing away and we'll edit it. So it's, I'm gonna make it not editable. Ed editable. Set. Um, uh, bowl. Editable. Um, false. Yeah. All right. So, and then this is the basic um, close operation, and so uh, this allows it. Yeah, so I'm gonna set default close operation. So you don't even memorize this like I have, but because um, GUI is one of those things where it's more of like. Uh, I already wrote the program, so I'm not gonna have to uh, um, rewrite it because it's kind of hard to memorize this. Uh, this is all caps, right? Yeah. Exit on uh, on close. Okay. So yeah, so, this, uh, so far what I've done is created a, a created a window, created a text area, and a scroll pane attached to the. Um, uh, text area, and I 
made it so that the text area cannot be edited and uh, edited, edited and had it so the window can have you know you can start closing the window and such and such so I'm gonna add a button I'm gonna call final J button I'm just gonna call it button equals new J button I'm gonna say click me so this is a uh, This is uh, what the button is going to show. It's not the name of the button is actually is just button, but uh, inside the button you're going to see text that says "click me," um, and obviously you're going to click it because you know that makes sense. And uh, this is something you don't need to do, but it's great anyway. So you can set the background, and you know this is a really nice function where you can set like whether or not you want it to be opaque or anything like that or translucent. Like if you attach an image. So in here, if you had a, some sort of image thing, you can specify, oh, I want this image in there, kind of thing. But that'll be another time. And I'm going to have it so that the color is actually uh, green, because I like the color green. So I'm going to add an action listener, which means that it listens whether or not the button is being pressed or not. So it's like a one zero thing. It's like a Boolean function thing there, whether or not. So if it's pressed, then do is stuff specified below. Otherwise, do nothing. Actioner, listen. Does the listener? I don't know. I'll see it if it's wrong. Uh, do action listener. Listener. Jeez, I'm, I suck at spelling. Uh, open this up, and I'm gonna do uh, public void action. Uh, perf performed uh, action event e nice so now we can get on to actually doing uh, what happens when you click the button so this uh, yeah this is actually its own it creates its own class file so if you have a ton of buttons it's gonna be quite a large file and yeah, that's not cool so I'm gonna have it so when you click it um, I'm gonna have it so that stuff um, the change it sets the text to um, to uh, Coolio. Coolio, you or I oh don't know. You're just you clicked me. Um, happy face. So now it's going. So now the text. So now when you click the button, uh, click me. It's going to uh, set the text area to say you clicked me. Which is nice, and I'm also gonna have it so that the button changes color as well. Uh, uh, color uh, red or something. I don't know. Uh, now let's close it. Uh, there we go. Um, yes. Yeah, so you need this is at the end if you have a um, one of these action listener things attached to a button. Um, Yes, this should be at the very end of that. So now let me just add a J panel. Put this J panel content because um, it's gonna hold the J text area and the J button. I think it could just hold a button, maybe. Yes. Um, it goes new J panel. Uh, let me just do that there. Content dot set background to color uh, gray. Nice. All right, so now the J. So the J, I just created a J panel called content, and I'm setting the color of uh, J panel content to gray. That all is good. Uh, window dot add. So I'm now now I'm going to have it so that the window is actually attached to the. Um, that no, that content J panel content is attached to J frame window, so it will actually appear. So yes, um, and I'm gonna put it on the on the uh, north. Ugh. There we go. 
there we go. Uh, yes, so now it will go to the... No, not the south. I want the north. Silly, silly me. Uh, so now um, the uh, J-Panel will appear to the north of the program. Which is nice. It's just the top, I guess. Um, now let me just set what should appear within the J-Panel. So content.add um, button. So now it's just going to hold the button, and that means it's probably going to be in the middle because it like nice. If you look at a Java uh, panel flow chart thing and see where the button layout is, you can change that. But you can look at that. Uh, you can look at that later. Uh, window dot set. No, 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 no. Let me not do that. Because if I if I did, I was about to do window dot set content pane content. That means the only thing that will show is just the panel. Not cool. That's kind of sucks. So uh, window dot set size. So this is going to be the um, this is going to be the size of the overall program. I'm going to set to 500 by 300. Window dot set. So this is also the location on the screen. And I'm just going to set to 100. Hunt. And, uh, yeah. Let's let the dog out. He's going to be on the floor. And, uh, yes. And now, the most important thing. Visible. True. There you need this because otherwise when you execute the program it's not even going to be visible to the user. What good is a program if you can't even see it? Uh so there we go. Um let me just compile this. If there's an error, just a couple of uh Oh. Yes. Thought I forgot something. Javax. There we go. Two warnings found. Uh oh, yeah. Because okay, so this is actually Javax. Get out of there, a a run. I'm gonna run this program. And now when I say click, I don't know if you can actually see this on screen. We say click me. And there's no J panel. Why is that? Oh, that's because I probably didn't even add it. Uh, let me add another J panel and hold on. J panel. Um, text. Content new J panel. Uh, content. Niggas, let him out. Let him out. Uh, new. Um, no, no, yeah, set background. Color dot dot gray. So now I'm gonna add it so that window dot add border layout dot south. That's be caps. Um text content and uh text content dot add stuff there we go uh that should work and it does click me ah there we go and uh I don't, well anyway it runs properly i don't know whether or not you can see it but it, on the top it says my gui program and it says a click me um it says click me and when i click it it turns red, and the text area on the south of the program, it says, you clicked me. That's all you do. So it's good. That is a quick tutorial thing on how to make a simple GUI program, including a button, J panel, and a J text area. Um, spectacular. That's perfect. So thank you for watching, and uh, hope this was helpful to you. See you next time.